Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Forrest with Rocky Mountain School of Photography and today we are gonna to talk about the myriad of ways you can power your camera in ways other than just using a simple camera battery. Now, I know some of you are thinking, well, Forrest, why would I want to do that? And to you, I say, continue using your battery and your charger, but I definitely recommend still watching this video because a lot of genres of photography and specifically video can benefit from these extra alternative power options. In order to make this video make more sense, I wanna split it into two very distinctive categories. We're gonna talk about powering your camera in the field, and we're gonna talk about powering your camera at home. And I should start by saying this, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using a standard wall plug-in charger a standard camera battery and doing what you've been doing since you bought your camera. But there are some clear, nice advantages that can be had from these other options. Let's start by talking about camera power in the field. Now, when we think about powering our camera in the field, we can really split this into two categories, direct power and battery charging. Let's start with battery charging. Most of us are used to the simple camera battery charger that plugs into you know, your 120 volt AC power outlet in your house. Super simple, you plug this into the wall. Other countries call it mains power, however you wanna to refer to it. You plug this into the wall, you pop your battery in, and a couple hours later, you got your little indicator light that says your battery is charged. And that works really, really well for a lot of people. The thing is, sometimes you're gonna to wanna to be able to do this in the field. You're gonna to wanna to be able to do this, say you're going on a, you know, four week backpacking trip and you're gonna be away from power. Well, yes, you could bring 40 batteries with you or you could bring some means of charging them. So how do we charge in the field? Well, the good news is this is starting to be adopted by a lot of camera companies natively. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. This is the charger that you can buy currently for the Fuji X-T4 camera. My personal camera is a Fuji X-T4, I love this thing. And the charger that they sell for this camera by default is USB. There's actually a USB port, so USB type C on the bottom of the charger, which means when I'm home, I plug my USB-C cable into here, I plug the other end into a USB-C wall wart, and I plug that into my wall and I'm good to go. But the cool thing is if I'm on a hike or I'm backpacking or whatever it is and I wanna charge my batteries, I use my same charger, I plug USB-C in here and I bring a battery bank with, my, with me on my trip. So just like a USB standard battery bank, I plug the cable into that and this bigger battery bank powers and charges my camera batteries. The bad news is this is a very new feature to start rolling out on newer cameras. So if you have an older camera or you don't have like a bleeding edge new camera, chances are your charger is still the standard wall plug charger. The good news is this, for around 20 to $30, you can pick up a USB aftermarket charger for your camera. Most of the time, these are not actually made by your camera brand, like Canon doesn't make one for their cameras, Nikon doesn't make one for their cameras. It's by an off brand, by a different brand, but if you buy a good one, you're gonna get the same charge circuitry, and you can simply take those same batteries that you were plugging into the wall, and you can simply attach them here, and this plugs in via USB, which you can use at home with a wall wart, like I talked about, or you can use it in the field with a power bank. So the moral of the story really is, USB is really the future of charging, and I really wanna see this adopted by more camera companies, because when you make your charger run off a of USB, you all of a sudden enable not just home power, which all of us are used to charging things via USB at home, we do it with our phones, our iPads, our computers now, but all of a sudden it gives you the ability to use a power bank in the field to do the charging job. So whether your charger natively supports it or you get an aftermarket one, that's a great way to charge batteries in the field. Now, on the other hand, I wanna talk about powering your camera directly in the field. And what I mean by this is instead of using a actual camera battery, you're powering your camera directly off of a battery bank. And this can be a great thing if you need more shooting duration than what one battery can do. Let me give you a quick example. I know for a fact this video is being shot on a Fuji X-T30, and I know when I'm shooting video on my X-T30, if I'm shooting 4K, I usually get about 30 minutes of video footage to a single battery. Well, if you're interviewing someone in the field, you don't really want your camera cutting out halfway through your video interview and have to be swapping batteries. So what you can do instead is power the camera directly off of a battery bank. This battery bank has about six times the capacity as a single Fuji battery does. So I can run the camera six times longer off of this without having to swap anything. 
Now this is another one of those features that you need to check and see whether your camera is capable of. Newer mirrorless cameras by and large support USB direct power or USB charging through the camera, but it definitely depends on the make and model of your camera. For me with the Fuji X-T4, all I do is pop this little door off the side right here and inside I've got a USB type C port. I simply take my USB C cable, I plug one end into there, I plug the other end into my power bank, and I've got six batteries worth of juice out there in the field wherever I'm going. Another genre that can really benefit from this is something like a time-lapse photographer. If you do a lot of time lapses, you're gonna want your camera shooting for a really long duration. I use this with astrophotography, shooting all night. Anytime you can offload the job of battery power to something bigger, you gain a lot of advantages. Now, if your camera does not natively support USB charging directly in the side of the camera, there actually is still hope for you. You can get what's called a dummy battery. Dummy batteries fit into your camera just like a normal battery does. So here is a Canon 6D Mark II, which does not natively support USB power, but I can take my dummy battery, which is literally a battery with a cable coming out of it. I can fit it into the battery compartment of this camera, close the door, and then what I'm able to do is basically, let me run this through here, all dummy batteries, most camera brands have a little notch cut out on the bottom of them that let a cable feed through. So I can feed that battery in there. This dummy battery can then plug into the same USB-C power bank to provide power in the field. Now, these come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, and I highly recommend that you get one that's well reviewed from a reputable source. The best one that I have found, the most reliable one is from Tether Tools. It's called the Tether Tools uh, Case Relay. It's a really good product. Very, uh, I should just say trustworthy. Obviously, if you're putting a dummy battery into your camera, you want something high quality that's not gonna cause issues. So I've put a link to the Tether Tools Case Relay down below. Here's my thing to say though, check to see whether your camera will support USB power before you buy a dummy battery. Because for me on the Fuji X-T4, I don't need to go through the extra step of purchasing one of those. I can literally just feed a USB-C cable straight into a battery bank into the side of the camera and I'm good to go. So in the field, you have options to either power directly off of a big power bank or to get yourself a USB charger to allow you to charge batteries in the field. Either way works well, it just depends whether you wanna have little camera batteries with you or have a bigger battery that you can use all at once. Um, really depends. The good thing is a lot of the systems will work both directions and as camera companies continue to evolve with this technology, hopefully most cameras will come with USB chargers as well as supporting USB direct power. The last little side note I need to say is make sure that your power bank is compatible with the amount and the power needs of your camera. As an example, the Fuji X-T4 supports what's called power delivery, which is basically a, a increased wattage that can be sent through a USB cable. Well, if you don't give it a power bank that also supports power delivery, it's not gonna be able to provide enough power to run the camera. The camera will still charge, but it will not be able, it will slowly lose juice, you could say. The bank won't be able to push enough power to keep the camera above 100% charge. The same is true with your cables. Be sure to buy cables that support power delivery as well if that's the standard that your camera calls for. The really the best thing you all can do is just spend some time Googling, spend some time looking at YouTube videos for your specific camera and the power options that it offers. Okay, with all that said, I wanna switch to at home power, whenever you have an actual power outlet available to you. Obviously, your normal camera battery charger works. That's not really what I wanna talk about. Instead, I wanna talk about how to get unlimited power for shooting forever when you're in a place that you have a plug for the wall. Well, if your camera supports USB power, through power delivery or through some form of USB, you can buy yourself a really powerful wall wart. This is the one I keep holding up. This is from Anchor. This is an Anchor wall wart that supports power delivery. So this can plug into the wall. A USB-C cable can plug into this and then the other end can plug directly into my Fuji camera and can provide me with unlimited power from the wall. 
This is the option you can use if your camera supports USB power. If your camera doesn't, all you gotta do is use your dummy battery and plug your dummy battery into the wall. And you'll notice that dummy batteries have a lot of different shapes and sizes. Some of them are actually wall power dummy batteries. Others of them are USB powered dummy batteries. What I mean to say through all this, I know it's confusing. I know I'm throwing a lot of jargon out there, but there's a lot of options to power your camera the way that you need to. So let me summarize like this. If you are in need of more power for your camera, whether it's in the field or at home or whatever it is, do some research. The options are out there and as cameras continue to evolve, we have more options to provide different means of power to our cameras. I frankly never worry about power or batteries anymore. When I go on a trip, I bring my camera with me, I bring one camera battery, and I bring a power bank. And that is all I need for the duration of the trip. Um, if I was gonna use more camera batteries, I would just bring a USB charger with me and a power bank and I would be good to go. And I just wanna tell you like the amount that you would spend on 10 camera batteries or five camera batteries is more than you'll spend on one of these solutions that will give you way more longevity and way more ease of using everything. It's just way simpler to use and rely on a bigger battery versus lots of smaller ones. Anyway, I know this is kind of a niche video. I know it's not gonna to apply to all of you, but those of you who are video shooters, those of you who shoot in the studio, those of you who shoot anywhere where power is important, hopefully you garnered some value out of this one. If you guys like this video, love you to hit that like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. If you have a question, leave it in the comment section down below. I've also put links down in the description that are relevant to this thing. I'm not putting links for every camera, brand, make, model, everything, because there's just too many, but I've put some good links in the description. Lastly, hit subscribe down there or up there to stay up to date with future videos. Turn on the bell to be notified and I will catch you in a future video. Thanks y'all.